Hello everyone, this is Joao from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the left atrium and ventricle. Another topic of the heart where we're going to essentially explore this image that you see now on your screen. This is an image of the left lateral view of your heart where we just cut open here the left ventricle. We're also going to cut open here and expose then the left atrium and then cover all these structures, all the important structures that are related to the left atrium and ventricle. Let's start off with the very first structure here highlighted in green, which is the left atrium. And on this image, as you remember before, we're highlighting it from a left lateral view, while on this image, we're highlighting it from now a right lateral view of the heart. And here we have the right atrium cut open. But we still see here on the image, for a bit of perspective, the left atrium highlighted in green. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins, which you can also see here on this image, then pumps it into the left ventricle via the mitral valve, which you also see here on the image, and we're going to be talking about it later on on this tutorial. There are a few roles that I would like to add here on this tutorial associated to the left atrium. The atria in general of the heart, atria meaning plural of atrium, will be facilitating circulation primarily by allowing uninterrupted venous flow to the heart, preventing then inertia of interrupted venous flow that would otherwise occur at each ventricular systole. Other structures that we're going to be seeing here highlighted, which I talked about before, these are the left pulmonary veins specifically. And the pulmonary veins are large blood vessels that will be receiving oxygenated blood from the lungs and drain it into then the left atrium of the heart. There are four pulmonary veins, two from each lung, and we see here two, so two left pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins are among the very few veins that carry oxygenated blood. The next very important structure that I talked about before, this is highlighted in green, the mitral valve, also known as the bicuspid valve or left atrioventricular valve which is a dual flap valve in the heart that lies between the left atrium and the left ventricle. This is a very, very important valve. Now, in terms of role during diastole, a normally functioning mitral valve will be opening as a result of increased pressure from the left atrium as it fills with blood. Then what happens is that as atrial pressure increases above of the left ventricle, the mitral valve will then open. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.